yourself an artist? That would label yourself an artist. Okay, a good, a good scattering, but not too many. This little girl, Avira, who comes to our camp in India, is HIV positive, and she also did not consider herself an artist. And so, we, what I'd like to do is, on the floor, on the tables, there are pencils, there are paper. I'm going to ask you to grab a pencil, grab a piece of paper, look at the person next to you, or across the table, draw a portrait, a 10 second portrait. I don't have more time than that. But draw a portrait of the person sitting next to you. Those in the, in the gallery, you can be a patron and support everyone here who's not. All right, five seconds. Four, three, two, and one. All right, so show your portrait to the person sitting next to you. And there's laughter, and there's embarrassment, right? And so all of these things we hope may have opened your mind to play, right? This is a, this is an example of play. And these two fellas, if anyone knows these handsome numbers, Paul Newman, Robert Redford, Butch Cassidy, and, and the Sundance Kid, the Hole in the Wall game. And I have the honor and privilege of working with the Serious Fun Children's Network, where we do Hole in the Wall camps all over the world. And it's not this one that's in Fairhaven. This is this is a motorcycle place. It's not this one, I promise. But we do camps for kids with serious illness all over the world with HIV, cancer, you name it. And I'm privileged enough to work in these camps in Africa, Asia, Latin America, South America. And what I want to do today is share some of the truths, the universal truths I've learned from working in camp. So this, you see, this is our swag bag. This is what you need to do at camp. You've got Sharpie markers, duct tape, Ziploc bags. You don't need much more than this. So less is more. That's, that's one of the truths. Less is more. We always joke that we can do camp in a parking lot. And it's true. It's about the staff that you have. And here, this is one of our camps, our, our older camps in Namibia. This is the Sahara Desert. This is our play area, right? This is this is flat. There's not much there, but that's all you need because you've got great staff and great team members. So less is more. <laughs> okay, then flexibility because nothing ever goes as planned. So this is an elephant that came charging into our camp, heading straight toward the camper cabins. So we have elephants, we have crocodiles, monkeys, Bollywood film crews, we have gypsy construction workers, loss of power, like you name it. But every one of these opportunities is a chance to learn more about our culture. We also have more minor things, like when the kids paint your face and the paint actually stains your face of this lovely shade of orange brown. And our teens also get sick, malaria, dengue. Friendly bacterial viruses, but it's an opportunity if you can be flexible to learn more about the culture in which you work. So, connection. This is my driver in Haiti last week. That's Port-au-Prince down down below. When I travel and I arrive in a place, the first person I meet is the taxi driver. So if I can get them to laugh with me, if I can get them to teach me their language, tell me about their family, that opens up all kinds of doors, and I feel much safer as a solo woman traveling. When we connect with our staff, this is one of our trainings. You can see this is a map that the team constructed of Vietnam. So we have them, we connect with them through having them teach us about their culture. And so then we're able to learn about their culture, we're able to share what camp is like, and somewhere in the middle we create this amazing program. So connecting with staff, this is another way. Teaching staff how to use positive words. So earlier I asked who's an artist. Very few people raised their hand. But here we teach staff to use positive words like artist, considerate, persistent, resilient, intellectual, athletic, teaching adults how to use positive words with kids. So then what happens is it spills over into how the adults interact with kids. Whether it's a, a physical touch on the back, there's always a rainbow afro wig in every camp that we do. Because <laughs> it, it makes a world of difference. But training adults how to work with kids and how to empower them and get them to tell their story. Because all of these kids are HIV positive or are cancer. This is in Paraguay. And this is another thing, getting adults to get on the level of a kid, to physically get on their level. It's one thing to be talked down to when you're an adult standing above a kid, but actually to get on their level, it opens up incredible doors because then they see you as someone that sees them, right? And they feel valued and loved. This is one of my favorite pictures. This is Rochelle in India, Sanjay. Sanjay didn't want to play cricket. So Rochelle, instead of saying, you have to play cricket, she said, well, what do you want to do? And so Sanjay, he said, well, I want to be a judge for the top drawing competition. Fabulous, okay. So, so Rochelle went with Sanjay around to all of the young girls that were doing the top 
chop drawings, and he was the judge for the competition that he created himself. This is praise. This is another universal truth. Praise. Kids need praise. Adults need praise. This is our super camp of chair in Haiti. It's decorated. You'd be honored to sit in this chair. And a child is recognized for something positive that they did. Maybe they helped someone clean up without being asked. And here you can see a child in Swaziland receiving that praise. It's, look at the look in her face. It's incredible. The kids take these awards. They take them home with them. They keep them for years. We hear from their caregivers. We hear from their clinicians how important it is just to get a few words of praise. Right? And that's something that I hope all of us can take. This is Volsi. He was uh, one of our campers in Haiti last week. You can see Amor on his head. He was a super camper recipient. And so one of us, our three values are safety, to love and respect. And so he decided to take his super camp award and put it on his headband so that all could see from there on out. So creativity. And then connection. This is, these are two girls in Cambodia in one of our programs. Having kids be able to see other children that are just like them, they're HIV positive, they have cancer, is the first time in their lives that many of them have realized that there are other kids just like them. And so teaching adults to create an opportunity to build those kinds of relationships is the most amazing thing in the world. And this is our last program here. This is a Mysore, India. And earlier when I showed the picture of her, you can see her in the top left corner with a pink paper on her, on her head. So she may have come to camp not believing that she's an artist, but she sure as hell left camp feeling that way. So thank you. And if you want to